Hey guys, Jay here. Hope things are well. Let's do some more TOEFL reading practice. In this one, we're going to look at skill number six, which is called rhetorical purpose. Don't worry so much about that word rhetorical. I'll teach you what that means. So the objective of this lesson is for you to understand the question type. So when you see it on test day, you know exactly what to do and for you to learn how to answer it accurately. So what we're going to do is this. I'm going to describe the task to you. I'm going to teach you a, a five step method. It's pretty simple, a, a method so you can answer it accurately and then I'll give you the chance to do some practice on your own. Let's firstly uh, look at the task and learn what it looks like so you know what to do on test day. Okay. This is what you'll see on test day. On the left hand side, you'll see a passage of text. On the right hand side, you'll see this question type, this question prompt here that says in paragraph two, why does the author include the information that blah, blah, blah. This really gives it away that this is the rhetorical purpose question. Why? What's the purpose? Why does the author include the information that American wages have been increasing rapidly, for example? Why? And you'll also see in the answer options, purpose statements to support, purpose statement to explain, to explain, to compare. So why do they include it? To support, to explain, to explain, to compare. Okay, we now know what this question type is. So what sorts of reasons? We're looking at rhetorical purposes. In other words, why does somebody say something? Why did you say that? Why did the author say that? Because we're looking at reasons to support, to explain, to compare, to prove, to criticize, to contrast, to define. There are probably more. Why did the author say that? So that's what we're trying to do in this question. We're trying to work out the reasons why the author included some particular information. Why? Cool. Let's look at the method. Step one, read the phrase and the answer options. So the phrase is this. Why does the author include the information that American wages have been increasing rapidly? So did the author include this to support the claim that houses are more affordable in America? Did the author write that to explain why the Australian housing market had weakened? Did the author include it to explain the future prospects of capital growth in the housing industry? Or did the author include it to compare the strength of the American economy against that of the Australian economy? Right, now we need to turn to the text. We need to locate the phrase in the passage that will give us the answer. Okay, sorry, let me, let me explain this. Okay, we need to locate the particular phrase. You know in the question prompt there, there was that phrase. We need to find that phrase in the passage. So. American wages have been increasing rapidly. Let's just scan over this and find that. As a politically stable country that welcomes foreign investors, USA, okay, wealth, excellent prospects, future after declining. Let's go back. American wages have been increasing rapidly. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Wages have been increasing rapidly. So we found that phrase in the text here. So now we can, uh, we can take the next step. We found that there. Step three, reread the paragraph to find the clues. Okay, so now we need to read the surrounding sentences to find the context, for the reason why. Okay, so wages have been increasing rapidly and the unemployment rate continues to improve from already low levels. This is in stark contrast to the Australian economy, which has weakened considerably since the end of the mining boom. So let's just read from here to here. Read this one more time with me. Wages have been increasing rapidly in America and the unemployment rate continues to improve from already low levels. This is in stark contrast to the Australian economy, which has weakened considerably since the end of the mining boom. So why did the author say this? To support the claim that houses are more affordable in America? To explain why the Australian housing market had weakened? to explain the future prospects of capital growth in the housing industry, or to compare the strength of the American economy against that of the Australian economy. Step four, eliminate the incorrect answers. Well, I'm feeling pretty confident to eliminate this one, to eliminate this one, and to eliminate this one. Fine, step four, five, rather choose the correct answer, 
It is in fact D. The author included that statement to compare the strength of the American economy against that of the Australian economy. Cool. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Let's do a little bit of practice now. It's your turn. So, let's do this one here. Give yourself a minute. Read the question prompt and find that phrase, that particular phrase in the passage, okay? And then choose from A, B, C, or D the reason why the author included that information. Pause the video, give yourself a minute. Right, let's look at the answer. If you haven't done it, please go back and press pause and do try to do this because it really does help. On test day, you need to build those neurons before test day, okay? Cool, so let's have a look at this without looking at the answer. Paragraph four, okay, cool, that's here. Why does the author include the information about the word cafe? Cafes are where deals used to get done and where deals still get done. Or when living in a large city in a world of apartments, people tend to invite each other to a cafe and not to their own home. Just as restaurants, cafes themselves are relatively, in French history, a recent phenomenon. Even the word cafe, okay, here we go. Even the word cafe used in this context is new. Just read this little section here with me. But just as restaurants, cafes themselves are relatively, in French history, a recent phenomenon. Even the word cafe used in this context is new. So why did the author include the meaning of the word cafe or the information about the word cafe? Did he do it to define the meaning of coffee? Did he do it to explain why political deals were done in coffee houses? To support the idea that the phenomenon of the cafe is a relatively modern one? Or to illustrate that the term coffee has changed in meaning over the years? Did you get the answer? Cool, the answer is of course C. The author included the information about the word cafe being relatively new to support the idea that the phenomenon of the cafe is a relatively modern one. Whoopsie! For TOEFL success, check out e2language.com because you probably might need to do more practice questions like this. We have heaps of practice material. We have great tutors if you want to take a tutorial on your writing or speaking, for example. We also run live classes, so do check out the website, get some help, sign up for free. Sign up for free. You may want to upgrade. See how you go. See you soon.